Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, and today we want to show you guys how to transfer printed plans onto poster board so you can fall in love with scratch building. A gentleman named Dan Sponholz is now drawing our plans for us of our designs, and you can download this for free on our website. There'll be links down below. Uh, one thing we want to show you though is there's a lot of confusion on how to take those plans from simple pieces of paper all the way over. Once again, Dan Sponholz has come through in an amazing way and he's wrote an amazing article on how to do that. And we're going to show you how to do that today. So to get started, you're going to need Super 77, poster board, and of course our free downloadable plans. Another thing for new time builders that's really nice is it gives symbols and legends. You can obviously tell Dan is an amazing engineer, um, but these can actually be printed off in black and white and you can still read them. Our previous plans that we put out, you had to print out in color. Now there is color to this, so if you have a color printer, they look beautiful, uh, but you will be able to follow along if you have a black and white printer, save some money, and just use these markings and the symbol below on what to do. You're gonna notice on the plans that it's all indicated by where they lay out and, and the order they lay out and all the part numbers are gonna be on there. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to cut out the plans for the FT Mini Corsair. So the first things you're gonna to need to do is obviously get the plans downloaded and taped together. All right, so let's go ahead and assemble this. You're gonna notice up in the upper corner, it's gonna give tile one, it's gonna give the location. And if you see these dotted lines here, we're gonna go ahead and cut off a portion of that and let the other end uh, come up on underneath it so it makes a nice joint. And then we're gonna tape it all together. Once your plans are taped together, loosely cut them out. What I mean by loosely is cut it out so you have a little bit of space between the black line and the paper. Once your pieces are cut out, you can go ahead and place them on your poster board so you can maximize and nest the pieces as best as possible to get the most efficiency. For small pieces like formers, it's easier to actually keep those clustered together and glue them onto the poster board in one full piece. With some paper laid down in a well-ventilated area, go ahead and pick up one piece at a time and apply a thick layer of Super 77 on the back. After everything is thoroughly placed down, patted down, and dry, go ahead and go back now and cut with either a razor blade if it's a simple object, or cut all the straights first, remove the object, and then trim with scissors. Don't stress too much about where exactly on the line. Just get as close to the line as possible. You don't need that level of precision for these models. For inside cuts, it's much easier rather than tracing the perimeter to start at the beginning of the angle and then follow down and then finalize it with the smallest piece. For creases, location areas, and our most important score cuts, you can simply take a T-pin or a piece of wire and put down some indicating marks through the plans and onto the foam board. Before cutting out the piece as a whole, go and cut all your score cuts first. It's much easier to handle a big piece of foam than a small piece of foam. Once all your score cuts are done, go ahead and follow up with the same principles we learned when cutting out the poster board. Start with the straight edges first, and then go back with a nice sharp razor blade and hit all your curves second. It's a really good idea to always keep your templates close because they have key information like what kind of folds, creases, and other information that you're going to need uh, to build the, the plane. At Flight Test, we really want you to fall in love with scratch building. And this simple technique can give you reproducible plans. So even when you crash or you want to get a friend of the hobby, you're able to do so. Now, if you don't like scratch building, we always have our speed build kits available. It cuts the building time in half. And also, if you have great ideas, great tips, I strongly encourage you to make an article at flighttest.com. We love going through those articles and we love showcasing amazing people and their thoughts and process and tips and tricks. Our desires give you the best experience possible and we have a lot of amazing minds in our community that can help us do so. We'll see you next time.